Hey everyone, I'm DJX, and I'm going to show you how to install some Project Zomboid mods on your G-Portal server. This method I'm going to show you is going to work with any server, but I'm specifically going to show you how to set it up on the G-Portal panel. So first thing you're going to want to do is just download some mods. Now, I'm already subscribed to this mod, but make sure that you read your descriptions, because some mods will have prerequisite mods, um, and other mods will add uh, multiple versions of the same mod. So just make sure you read your descriptions. Next, you want to go into your Project Zomboid, go to Host gonna go to um, make new settings I have one selected here G portal you're gonna hit edit and they're gonna want to go to the Steam workshop section here is all your mods so what you're gonna want to do here is just select all the mods you want we're just gonna select a bunch of mods at random it really doesn't matter let's just throw in a bunch of stuff and there you go now you got all your mods that you want so some mods make sure you check in here because some mods add in multiple versions so you're going to want to select which version you want. Some mods um, require multiple, but Authentic Z here, there's three different ones, so you're going to choose just one. So we're going to go with just Authentic Z. And then, yeah, everything looks good. Hit save. Back. Back to the main menu. All right, next we are going to open up a file explorer. We're going to PC. We're going to go to your local. Go to users. Select your current user. You're gonna head down to Zomboid. You're gonna go into Server. And you're gonna find the settings that you just made. Open up the any file. There you go. And now you're hit with a bunch of stuff here. I wouldn't worry about all this because if you're just trying to get some mods, this is how you do it. So right here, mods equal. So you're gonna want to copy this. And you're gonna going to want to go over to your G portal, go to my servers, select the server you're going to want to add some mods to, and make sure you turn it off if it's on. That way nothing gets messed up. You're going to want to hit configuration. You want to select your any. Let that load up. And then you're going to want to scroll down so you can find the mods. There they are. And you're going to paste that in there. We're going to go back over, because there's one more thing you need to grab, and it is the IDs for the mods. For some reason, you got to put them in twice. Don't know why they do this, but this is how it's done. So here's your IDs. And instead of having to type all these numbers out and possibly make a mistake or just something go wrong, this is just the copy-paste method is much better. Um, and then you're going to head back over to your G portal. And you keep scrolling down you'll find a section labeled workshop items you put your workshop items in just like that make sure not to mess anything up there go back to the top make sure you save it and fire up your server you will now have those mods you go over to join give it a sec for the server to fire up and you'll see the mods there and it is that simple, guys. Very easy. That's the method I use. Um, there's even, actually an even faster and easier way of doing it, and I will show you in the next video on how to set up advanced settings for Project Zomboid. See you in the next one.